Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Batlaner, and I'm ready for our next set of books for our March Madness Book Edition. Uh, this is a great story that, if you notice, on the left-hand side has won a couple of awards. So our story today is called There Was a Party for Langston, King of Letters, uh, and the story is by Jason Reynolds, and art is by Jerome and Jarrett Humphrey. So if you look at the silver medal above, that is a Caldecott Award. And a Caldecott Award is given um, to books for uh, the amazing illustrations and drawings that are in there. Now, this book did not win the Caldecott Award for 2024. Um, it has been an honor book. So it's almost like it came in second place. Um, it, it wasn't the actual winner. Um, and then below that is um, the Coretta Scott King Award. Coretta Scott King was the wife of Martin Luther King. And she has this, uh, gr this organization that is called the Coretta Scott King Award. And it is also an honor book for that. And it has to do with peace, nonviolent social change, and the talk of brotherhood. So great book that has won a few recognitions for its storyline and also the illustrations. Dedication page to all my heroes who taught me to party. And that is by Jason Reynolds. Uh, most of our elementary schools have a lot of Jason Reynolds books in them. Um, they are mo uh, most of his writing are um, some are, are graphic novels uh, and they are chapter books. So this is one of the few picture books that he has written. And then um, Jared and Jerome, they have dedicated this to Hannah Mann. So if you look, all of those people there are going into the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture, and it's part of the New York Public Library. So the illustrators really put a lot into their illustrations today um, to kind of give you a whole bunch of different ideas about where the storyline takes place. There was a party for Langston at the library, a jam in Harlem to celebrate the word-making man. So if you notice the picture on the wall there. So it is the grand opening of the Langston Hughes Auditorium in February 1991. So that was several years ago. Langston, the king of letters. whose ABCs became drums, bumping, jumping, thumping, like a heart the size of the whole wide world. So if you notice the illustrations there, look at how awesome they are. The thump, thump, thump are drums. You'll notice uh, around the back by the piano is the word blues. That's the, a kind of um, music. And so if you look, the B is a different instrument as is the S. So it's really neat how these illustrators have really brought these pages to life. Langston was the best word maker around, could make the word mother feel like real warm arms wrapped around you, giving a snug hug. Could make the word America look like two friends making pinky promises to be cool. To be true. So if you look at the illustration, look, they've created that word mother so that it does look like a mother hugging somebody. And then the word America is making those pinky promises. And you'll notice the Statue of Liberty. What does that say? Yeah, will be. Could make the word Harlem sound like the perfect place to have a party. Make it seem like you could bust a move right there in the H or the L or the M of it. So I think this is a great illustration. So that's a building. And what they have done is they have taken a different floor of the building 
and they have lit the lights so that it makes the word, what does it make? Yeah, I can see Harlem there. And Harlem was a place where new dances are born. Uh, if you want to know about Harlem, check your library for a book. Uh, you can do an internet search and find out a little bit more about Harlem if it interests you. There was a blowout for Langston to celebrate the man who wrote wake up stories and rise and shine rhymes. So Langston Hughes, he was a poet. So he didn't write like fiction books or nonfiction books. He wrote poetry. And take a look at from the typewriter for all the dreams we've dreamed. So if you look there, he did not have computers when he started um, to write. Look, that thing on the left, that is what a typewriter looks like. Mrs. Batliner learned to type on a typewriter. Ever since he was just a little boy, daydreaming under the Ohio sky, turning birds into words flying all around him, imagining the clouds as paper to put them on, the best word maker in his class. So he has always been someone who has written um, poetry. So even when he was little, he liked to write it. Fling my arms wide in the face of the sun. But not everyone st understood Langston. Some people thought it was better to be word breakers, thought his spelling deserved yelling, wanted to take words like free and love and cut them in half, pull them apart, keep all the letters from touching and sharing, keep the big H's with the little H's and the big A's with the little A's. So great illustration again, look at the books. Some folks think by burning books, they burn freedom. So many times people who do not like what is being said in books, they will have a book burning in the past and they felt that if they got rid of the books, people would stop thinking the way that they thought. True or false? Yeah, I think it's false. But Langston, the brave word maker, knew letters were better together. Turn them into laughter. But freedom stands up and laughs in their faces. So look at that illustration on the right. What word does that say? Yeah, it says, ha. And that laughter rang out for years and years in cities and towns, on trains and tractors, to classrooms and bedrooms, bringing joy to the little and the big. So look at all those illustrations. Every single person has a smile on their face when they read Langston Hughes poems. And that's why there was a party for Langston at the library, a fancy foot get down all out bash. And all the books on the shelves were listening and looking at all the people shimmying full of dazzle. Don't nobody dance like a word maker. And all the best word makers were there. So if you look to the right, the James Baldwin and Gwendolyn Brooks, Brooks Ashlyn Bryan, Octavia Butler, they were all authors who had something to say. So they're all there at the party just watching. Like Maya. Many of you may have heard of Maya Angelou or Angelou. Who Papa Da, who Langston's language laughter tickled as a child, who grew up reading his words and learn to make words of her own. So Maya Angelou, she believed in the writing and he kind of um, made her a writer. She enjoyed what he had to say so much that she became a writer. So take a look at the stairs she's walking up as she's reading. Promise, heart, dream, enough, love, freedom, infinite, stand, black, live. And then when she's writing her poetry, 
Can you read that cursive? If you can, you are phenomenal. She could make the word woman seem like the word mountain. Shine on me. And the word cage feel like a place far, far away. So look at how it amazes me, these illustrations, how they've taken the word cage and put it in the illustration. It looks just like a cage. From this library, this party, Maya dressed in constellation stars dangling from her. She rose up from the floor, flapping like a free bird, flapping so freely with wings unbroken. So they are really, really celebrating the idea of being able to write what they want. Amiri, another one of Langston's word children, was at the party too. Came bopping in, dressed in his good clothes and his soft shoes. Black, his favorite word on his tongue. Amiri could make the word black sound like it could be red. Could make the word black echo into the future and way back into the past. Look at very, very, very carefully at that word red. What is inside of it? Yeah, the word black. Back to Langston. Amiri came to recite poems at his hero's feet. Came to dance, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, boom. Came to offer his rickety radio heart to Langston, the man who wrote... his neighborhood as America, and his family as America, and his funky music as America, and America as America too. So we have magic land, we have dance, glee, music, song, America, sister, daddy, freedom, neighbor, brother, river, Harlem. Take a look at that illustration with all of those words. What does that look like? Yeah, if you said the United States of America, you are exactly correct. It looks like the outline of the USA. The man who wrote Maya and Amiri into the world. I love this illustration. And Maya and Amiri danced like the best words do. Together, dazzled together. They held hands and swung and spung and slid step banana stomping and boogie boogie wiggling wild oh what a time to gather together to gather together until they lifted their heads to the word making boy who had grown up to be a word making man who now became the word making king for langston for Langston. I love this illustration because look at the W on his head. If you look at his shadow, what does it make him look like? Yeah, it makes him look like a king, right? And they call him the king of words. So if you look at his desk, look what it says on his, as his body. Consider me a colored boy. Once 16, once 5, once 3, once nobody. Now... And then look on his shirt there, me. And let laughter fill the library. Laughter, the language of ha ha ha. Loud like the love in the library that night. In all of the hoopla in Harlem at that party. Where the books were looking on as new words were being written. Where the books were listening just like you. So there's party, ha ha, dazzle, jam, get down, celebrate. So this is the exact reason why Jason Reynolds decided to write this story. It all started when I saw a picture of two of my favorite word makers, Maya Angelou and Amiri Baraka dancing. But why were they dancing? I never even knew word makers could dance. 
I always thought they were just the people who could put cool poems like Caged Bird and Legacy. These poems I loved as a kid. Or the people who spoke out courageously about freedom and a way to become better people in a more loving America. Turns out, they also loved to boogie, especially when the party was in honor of a word maker of all word makers, Langston Hughes, who wrote my favorite poems, The Negro Speaks of Rivers and Mother to Son. And that's only two. He wrote hundreds, hundreds of other poems that can make you nod your head and tap your feet. Do a little shimmy. That's what those poems did for Maya and Amiri and a whole bunch of other people who danced for Langston in the library. That's what Langston's words did for me. And I hope this book does for you. J.R., which is Jason Reynolds. So if you look on the side there, there are books of all the different poems that Langston has written. So if this has made you curious, look up Langston Hughes, see if you can find some of his poems, read them and see if they make you shimmy. I hope you enjoyed our story and I will see you the next time.